everyone, this is Laura from Watch Laura Sew. Right now we are actually working on six table runners at the same time. There's a video up above and that is a, a one where I was sewing all six table runners in the same day. But today we are actually quilting number four. Number four. I already quilted three different table runners. They're already done. Uh, and ready. Uh, two of them are three through binding. One of them is in binding this morning. And so now I'm going to quilt uh, th another small one, which we're going to, I'm going to show right now. And then after that, then I have the large one and then the final medium one. I am going to go ahead and turn on the music and speed up the video. I actually quilt a lot slower, like extremely a lot slower <laughs> than you see in these videos. But if I showed the real time quilting, it would take an awful long time and I don't know if anybody would want to sit around and watch it. So I go ahead and speed it up for you and thank you so much. And I will see you at the sewing machine. And as always, when I'm quilting, I have my feed dogs down, my stitch length to zero. I have my quilting foot on. I'm using glide thread. Now I'm using the Juki TL18 today and I'm using Magna Glide bobbins on the bottom for the bottom thread. And I think with all of that, I think it's time to get going. I will see you at the sewing machine. I get pretty close on the center, so it's close enough. And how I do it is I just imagine uh, triangles. So if you look at this line coming out, look at this corner right here. Uh, obviously I have a thread that came through when I sewed it. I'll clip that off. When you look at this line coming across like that, and you look at this line coming across like that, that makes like a right angle triangle. And that's where I put my center. And almost always it works out almost to the, to like an eighth of an inch, if not closer. Okay, so the center part is done and now I'll take it to the uh, Juki F300. I will check it on the back real quickly to make sure that there are no tucks or catches or anything on the back. And I don't see anything, so it looks pretty good to go for me. And I will take it over to the Juki F300 sitting over there and we will uh, just do a stitching the oops I'm trying to get them. We're gonna do a stitching the ditch going along here and then also tack down the outside of the the outer border. And when all that's done then I'll come back over. I'm just doing simple paisley loops uh, for the border. Just a simple meander. And it looks very, very nice with this design. 
And so I'm really pleased with it. So we'll get busy on that. I'm going to go ahead and take it over to the Juki F300. Thank you so much everyone for watching the video of this uh, table topper. It is really going to be a beautiful table topper and provide some Christmas cheer. So I hope that you are having a great day. I will see you next time at the sewing machine. And actually it might be on, on table runner number five. I will see you next time.